Well, here we go again. This time, we're gonna do some uh, lower rust repairs. I think that's the plan here. Let's see if we can get that out of the way. We can get the dash back into the truck. We got uh, the original dash. I cut out because I had to try to make it uh, what I do. I had to sink the windshield down, so this is part of the wind. Well, the windshield frame. This was a part of it. So I want to bring this up a bit so that my uh, steering columns back into geometry with my uh, steering box over there. So we're going to try to fix this side. This one's going to be pretty easy. There's a little dent there. We got one rust spot there. We got one rust spot there. This side's the toughie. This is the hard choice. I think I'm just going to try to beat it out a bit. And I don't know. It just is what it is. We'll see if I can get this a little straighter. Pound this out. If not, I might cut it and redo it. <laughs> it's so much work. Uh, yeah. I mean, the inside's not great, but yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, it's done. We got one little patch there. So it's not too bad. We got there, there. I got to remake these sills, like these parts. And then uh, inside, I have to reattach it. Uh, I can't open the door right now, but I have to reattach the inside. And then we got to do some patching up here. I think this is going to be good, so I'll be able to radius this to the inside like it is. Cut off the excess down here and fully weld that stuff up. And then we'll just make some simple patch panels in the back and call her done. Well, the rust, I hope. We do have one, one dinger up here we got to do yet, but uh, that's pretty easy. And then we're going to find some uh, handles. I found some in the shed. They're, uh, I don't know what they're from. Well, I have two different ones, but I have matching ones to these. So I'm going to try to modify these and at least put a pair of these on there. They're kind of cool because they got the old teardrop on the bottom, which would be neat if they sat this way, but they sit up and down. So I don't know. That won't hurt anything. It'll just kind of look cool, I guess. Anyways, I guess I'm, normally I start on the passenger side, but that one's such a gong show. I think I'm just going to start here. <laughs> this one is so much easier. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's get started.
Alrighty, we got our patches in. Got a little spot that's kind of thin there, so <clears throat> I'll cut that, do that one. But for the most part, that is done. Uh, what I want to do now is just make up this rail underneath. So I found some one inch pipe. I'm going to do the old slapper on the concrete and see if we can get her close to this shape. If not, <clears throat> I just grab my die from the other side. It's a little on the large side, but I can at least put it in and tweak my bar after while I'm trying to uh, get the perfect shape on there. But hopefully the old concrete slap is going to work for that one for the most part and get most of that thing. So once we can get that shape started, then we can kind of work on that inside panel, get it welded up to that flat piece inside. And then I don't know what we're going to do on the back half here yet. Uh, mind you, I can run that pipe over to here and then just kind of blend it off into nothing. That would work. All right, yeah. let's get started.
Well, we did a few patches. I didn't get them all. Oh, I gotta grind some more. I guess, I don't know if that was the filler or something hit it. I don't know. That's patched. That is patched. I still have to do this back bit. Got a few patches there. This is there. This is out. It's better. It's like, eh. I don't really want to cut it out. It's kind of got a funky character to it. It'll get a little bit of fill, but I'm going to leave everything look a little wonky. I'm just going to smooth this thing out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, overall. Making progress slowly. I don't anticipate everything's going to get uh, done all fancy. So, I had some steel, and uh, I couldn't get it to shape right. I tried a little bit, didn't work the way I wanted. So, I'm going to get some conduit tubing. Conduit, conduit, I don't know. That metal tubing for electrical, I'm gonna use because it'll bend easier. I'll get it to do the contour. And uh, then we can redo the shelf in here and get that profile nice and purdy. But until then, we'll just keep patching up little things like that bullet hole is another one. Like I said, this back part, I'm gonna get this arch done. <clears throat> and then like inside of here we gotta uh, there we go inside of here we gotta weld this to here but we gotta do some patchwork on here as well so I don't know I might wait till I make this this piece because then this will just be an easy piece to remake just a pretty simple transition uh, but maybe I'll bring it down and I'll kind of start working on the dash get the dash in so I can get the steering column mounted again uh, we might have to mount it on the truck just because I might change the angle of the steering column, put it down a little more, which should still work fine for my feet, but we just want to make sure everything is cleared and good. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll lift the body off because it won't be till next week till I can get some of this stuff. So.
great. Let's get some light on here. So we got the dashes back in. It's actually pretty good. We got it actually lifted up into the exact spot. So the only difference now is on this upper piece, it's kind of hidden under the dash, like this transition, but that's okay. No big deal. Can't see it when you're sitting in there, so. Doesn't change much. I splashed a little paint, but I'll probably prime this and paint it yet. Be kind of the plan. Uh, what do we gotta do? Still gotta work on this, gotta get rid of this. Uh, but we also now have to work on these. This, you can see the huge difference. This one sits up here and that's like the lower portion of it. <laughs> so there's a lot, we gotta cut this down so we can fill those panels. I'll probably do a steel panel. Like I'll probably do everything kind of steel bead rolled in this truck. I think that's gonna be kind of the, the theme, like just steel door panels maybe. I don't know yet, we'll see. That could change, depends how, how much I care. Uh, like finishing up that kind of stuff. But anyway, this is in, window crank works good. So we just got just a little more rust. And then like I say, I gotta get that conduit so I can do this stuff here. Other than that, we just about have everything done on the cab. It's getting close. There's still more to do, but we're getting close. Oh, we'll have to cut down the garnish molding for the rear window. This is the one for the, the rear window. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, got a little difference in size. There, got a better perspective. <laughs> we gotta do that one too. Anyways, I'm gonna go in, grab some supper, and uh, be back at it again. Quick test fit. Problem is my backrest should be back further. I know a lot of folks feel like I'm not gonna fit in the truck. <laughs> I fit fine though. That is pretty much it. I can still fit my fist like sideways over my head. Plenty of room. I see fine. Lights will be a little eh. But not too bad. It's pretty good. When the door is closed, my arm still fits out fine. Uh, here, let me get you guys in here. You'll see what I mean. Ooh. All right. So, when the door is closed, my arm sticks out just fine. Visibility, you know, doesn't look great, but it's actually good. You can see everywhere out the back window just fine. Like if I go. Back here, like, you know, you gotta imagine you're sitting at my eye level right now. Pretty good. 
Oh, I'll give you a little sample of my gauges. These are the ones I've picked up. Unfortunately, this one I don't have any senders. They're actually like boat gauges. I found them on Amazon. Whatever they are, they're called Kus. Kus? K-U-S. I don't dig this one because it's one of these wacky ones where, you know, our speed limit around here is only 100 kilometers an hour, so it's like I'm only using this portion of the gauge, which is I'm not very fond of, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. We'll uh, kind of do our thing. That one is like a GPS speedo, like all my other ones, so I don't have to worry about trying to calibrate anything. It'll just work. And then, uh, yeah, we got our, our little hand crank here for a window. Whatever we got to do there. Yeah. So anyways, let's get started on these. They're not very big. <laughs> And then I gotta come. I gotta come back. We gotta do these little spots. I gotta basically weld these up. This is for like the roof part, but I'll probably take these off. Maybe make something else just for a wind lace to go around. And maybe I'll try to figure out a headliner. I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna be too worried about that though. Uh, but we'll get those bits over here. Like I say, this one. I've gotta cut this out. Fix that yet. The other side's good. So anyways, yeah. In case you're wondering what it's like sitting in a chopped vehicle, this is it. <laughs> Except it'll be much lower to the ground. That's the difference. All right, let's get out of here.
Well, where do we go? There's been a, uh, I think I did a bunch of stuff and you didn't quite follow along with everything. So I tacked in where my gas pedal goes. I just tacked the nuts in for the lower part of the steering column. You know, it's kind of minor amongst the things that I've done. But uh, inside, we I put some braces up in the back here uh, just to push that back panel out so it's not so floppy. We buzzed in these corners. We added in that brace. We welded up top. In these corners, I've tacked in some plates just to seal out the inside of the cab from the back. We did the same back here. So we got in here and there. This is gonna get probably screwed down. I might seam seal or I'll put a, a felt down and then we'll kind of work it that way. Uh, yeah, dash. Uh, we're pretty good. The only thing I screwed up today, I forgot to get my uh, stupid rail on the bottom. So, gotta do that tomorrow. And then uh, I think we're pretty much just about there. Oh, we chopped down the the rear window, I have it sitting here and I threw a bit of paint on it. So it'll be like one of the first things painted on the truck. <laughs> but that's for the back window, the garnish molding, go around the glass. Uh, yeah, I mean, once I get that done, we can do that inside lip and we can call this uh, cab pretty much all done as far as the worst of the metal work anyways. That's kind of the, kind of where we're at. They've kind of got stuff all sealed up and stuff. So the other thing I didn't do is I still have to do the front mount. I didn't do something, but that's just a simple, I don't care if that bolt is exposed compared to these ones. I'd rather be under the floor. But, oh well, yeah, I don't know if I showed these or not, but there is our corner garnish moldings. There are these tiny little things. <laughs> Pretty tiny, but whatever. It is done. So well, remembered to pick up my uh, conduit. Conduit? Is that right? I don't know. The piping. <laughs> it's. Uh, I went with three quarter inch because that actually just looks visually like the same size. So we are going to shape this up, glue them on the truck here, and uh, I think that's where we're going to leave this video. Well, we got to glue it on and we got to build this fill panel, this, this panel yet. So we'll, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. One thing at a time. This thing we can pretty much cut off once I get the initial shape right. So let's get started with that.
Hey buddy, what's going? Hmm? You want to go inside, eh? Well, there is our finished product for now. We got, I think, everything I pretty much wanted to cover in this one. The bottom's not pretty, but meh, it's just a, it's just a sill. It'll clean up okay. So we got that tacked in. That didn't go too nuts. I'll just seam seal that. It's not anything really structural to that. Uh, we got the back brace in. Front sill. Yeah, we pretty much got it all buttoned up in here. Uh, we still got like a lot of grinding and things to do, I guess. But overall, she's, uh, she's in good shape. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to be going next. I'm thinking I'm getting pretty darn... Uh, close that I want to blow it all apart and uh, weld up my frame solid. I don't know what I want to do for the front horns yet, so I still have to figure that part out. But I, uh, I do want to get like the motor mounts all done, get the motor mount right, pull the motor, change the to the other bell housing, see if we can, uh, if I have to order some parts or not. And uh, yeah, we got a little more work to do in the box, but like I say, I think I want to blow it apart so I can get this frame done. <clears throat> Might make a perimeter, do something back here yet. Still don't know 100% what I'm doing for a fuel tank. And, uh, but get all my braces and everything else all in there. Yeah, some people said leave the bullet hole. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> uh, where's my... My stupid, what do you call it? Thing keeps popping off. So we got this side all done. We got our conduit sill plate there. So yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy where everybody's going so far. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video. Uh, I think it's run on for a little while. Feels like I've been working at it for quite a few days anyways, but Anyways, as always, folks, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.